Trax S UDR. As far as trophy trucks go, you know, this is the best scale representation of a trophy truck made in mass production by Traxxas, by anyone. The chassis, the layout, the suspension, everything is right on point. Um, and you're going to see all that in this video because I've got the Vitavant upper shock mounts to put on this and take it for a drive. So these right here, this right here, I'm going to pull the body off and you'll see why I'm telling you what I'm telling you right now. Take a look. Check these things out right here. They're marked left and right. There's your Vitavon. Very nice setup. Now, I haven't broken the stock ones, but I know for sure I'm not going to break these. So now we get to take that body off, and I'll show you guys a little bit what I just talked about. I'm going to get into them things right there. This is why I say it's so scale. Now, this is the original demo model chassis. I have not been nice to this thing. You can see it's got some bends in it. And I have a brand new UDR chassis in the closet. I just have not had a chance to swap everything over. But I think it's about time. Maybe clean this thing up and have a really nice show truck. What do you guys think? Um, but the chassis and everything, that's what makes this thing so legit. So, as far as ESC goes, it's got a Max 6, got a TP2200 KV motor in it. You can see all the Vitavon all over the place. Front sway bar, front arms, front steering, uh, the bell crank, uh, the links, the sway bars, everything. It's just pretty much all Vitavon, and it runs great. The B-block wheels, uh, now the tires are pro-line, but... Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get one of these put on to right here. The way this goes on is pretty simple. Got to take this chassis bolt out right here. You can kind of pull the, pull the chassis apart, bolt right up top, and at the bottom, take the shocks loose, and the whole piece will actually come right out and swap in the new one. Here's the stock piece right here. And as you can see, I have actually flexed this out. This thing has been beat on really hard. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, this one goes in. Now this shock right here at the front is a techno shock with a piece that I kind of made to squeeze in there. So that's not exactly factory. You can see the plastic right there that I made to make that shock work. So this one is a little bit on the tight side, but kind of my own doing there, you know? Looks like I'm going to be on this shock here it is the original, the original long shock and oh look at that. Perfect. I just got to work on this one a little bit because that is not a factory piece. I had to pull the whole piece off to get the techno shock on. But the Techno Shock is obviously not the original. Um, and I'm having a little bit of a clearance issue right there. As much as I hate to do this, I'm going to clearance the mount. Because you can't really cut into the shock cap very much. And I really like the Techno Shocks that are on here. So I'm going to do a little bit of clearancing on the mount. And I'll go ahead and do the other side. Since obviously I'm running the same shocks on both sides. And can't find the factory shocks. So, oh well, I get them clearanced. Just a few minutes later with a file and a Dremel, and I have the clearance that I need. Well guys, it is in place. Everything has clearance, everything moves like it's supposed to. 
beautiful. It only took just a few minutes and everything fits good. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the other side, get that one done. And then this thing should, woo, lost the torque on that motor. This thing should be ready to go. Both sides are on, it is ready to go. You're gonna see it with the body on the dirt in three, two. So here we are. I probably should have put some weight on the back end of it. Put a little bit on the light side at that back end. Phenomenal truck. I believe the last time I had this out here, I actually had it two-wheel drive. I had the sand tires on it, and uh, I gotta say, this thing did really good. Oh, Yeah, that back end is definitely a little bit on the light side. I'm having to throttle it pretty darn heavy in the air to try to keep that front end up. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I had a good one going that time. Try the other direction. Oh, not that way. That made me dizzy. Woo! All right. <laughs> time since I drove this. The pieces, they went in perfectly. It was my Techno Shocks that didn't really agree with them, but we made things work. So other than that, uh, they went in perfectly. They're actually really easy to install. Taking the body off actually takes about longer than putting those in, so long as you've got the, the stock shocks or some other shocks that actually fit better. But regardless, nice little product. I like that. I really should have added more weight to the back. I really should have put the spare tires on there because that back end was a little bit springy, but still bottomed out pretty well when I jumped it. Yeah, so 
But anyway, drive went good. Um, out there, uh, we haven't had rain in a while, so nice and powdery. Nice and powdery. So, guys, in that description, we'll put a link to all kinds of Vitavon goodness. There's a bunch on here. It's all down below, so make sure you check that out. Put the Proline tires on there as well. Uh, the Max Five, Max 6 ESC, and I believe it's got a GT5 radio. See if I can find one of those as well. So, anyway, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.